In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up bank feeds so that your bank statement lines are automatically fed into Xero on a regular basis. So I'm using an account that I've started to set up, but there, as you can see, barely anything is set up at the moment. So I'm going to add a bank account. So bank account. Now there are two types of feeds um, bank feeds into zero. So the first type is the partner bank feed. So I've just entered UK in the top here. Now the top three, HSBC, NatWest and Royal Bank of Scotland, they are actually partner banks with zero. So if you have an account with e any of these three banks, you can actually set up a feed through the bank and the bank will send in your statement lines from the previous day and they will come in first thing in the morning. So the bank are actually sending them in. So I'm just going to set up an HSBC account here. So we get bank feeds are available. I'm just going to call this HSBC current account. And I need to put in a sort code and, um, and a, my account number and save. And that sets up the actual bank, bank account within zero. So I can create transactions against that. Now there is a big green button which says get bank feeds, well it just says gets bank feeds. So I click on the green button and because it's a partner bank feed it has taken me through to the help center within Xero. Now this is because you need to set up the agreement between your bank and Xero. So you need to email a, the email the re a request <laughs> for a bank feed form. <laughs> Um, and when you receive the form, you fill that in, send it back to zero, and then the bank will set up the feed. And as it says here, bank feed should start within four weeks. In the meantime, you can actually upload your manually import your statement lines. And I will show you how to do that in another video. Now, HSBC does charge to do this. They charge £3 a month um, to do this. And um, NatWest and Royal Bank of Scotland charge £3.50 a month to do this. The other type of bank feed, so if I go back to Xero, is a Yodely feed. Now Xero use a third party called Yodely and you enter your information that you would use to log into your bank and it's all encrypted and there are um, lots of information there is lots of information on the zero.com website about the safety of this but it's as safe as internet banking and it is your choice whether you set up yodely feeds or not so i'm going to set, show you how to set one up so i need to set up another bank account so i'm just going to accounts and bank accounts add a bank account and we saw if you click if you just type in UK on the um, your bank. It does give you a whole list of banks that have bank feeds available. Um, I'm going to choose uh, Santander. Okay, so it says bank feeds are available. Need to put in a name here, Santander. Uh, let's say it's our savings account. I could put that in there. Again, a sort code and an account number and save so that sets it up in zero now it's again we get the green button get bank feed so i click on that now this time it's asking me to enter the information that i use or originally used when i first set up internet banking um, into this information into this information box here and Yodly would use this to log into your internet bank on a daily basis and bring the statement lines into zero if you need to use a card reader to access your internet banking every time you log in you will also need to use a card reader once this is all set up you need still need to use your card reader to, to refresh the feed within zero you don't have to go into the bank account but you need to refresh refresh the feed and when you click on refresh feed you will need to use the card reader in the same way that you do when you log into your internet banking and that's the two different types of feeds yodely feeds are free um, whereas the partner bank feeds do cost a monthly fee and that's to the bank not to zero um, but the bank feeds in 
statement lines into zero, whereas the Yodli feeds pull statement lines into zero.